الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد some important characteristics or traits of ahl sunnah wal jamaah the first being that ahl sunnah they return to the evidences they return to the evidences from the quran the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam and the with the understanding of the companions of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam radiyallahu ta'ala anhum majma'in so this is the first trait of ahl sunnah that they go back to the evidences of the quran and the sunnah they don't go back to the opinions to the opinions of their marid or the opinions of their sheikh or their opinions of other scholars or their imam or their preacher or whoever but rather they go back to or the amir of their jamaat that they go back to the book and the sunnah first and foremost that that is the masdar of the religion it isn't first going to your sheikh unless you have no knowledge and your sheikh is is well known for his adherence to the sunnah the book and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam however your first return should be back to the evidences of the quran and the sunnah and that we do not follow the opinions of men and put the opinions of men and people above the evidences from the quran and the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the second sign of ahl sunnah is that they hear and obey the muslim leader and authority and that they are comforted by what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they are obedient to the leader of the muslims except in disobedience to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so this is the second important characteristic of ahl sunnah and you will find for anyone who has ashkal with this or has difficulty accepting this go back to the books of aqidah go back to the books of creed from the early generations everyone from imam abu hanifa to imam malik to imam shafi'i to imam ahmed and you'll find many many books and statements of the scholars pertaining to this and those who came after them another characteristic of ahl sunnah is that they love the people of tawhid and the people of ittiba the people who follow the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they have hatred and dislike for those who hate and harm the people of tawhid and those who plan and plot against the people of tawhid and they love the methodology of the salaf as-salih they love the manhaj or the way of the salaf because the salaf radiyallahu ta'ala anhu ridwan allah alayhim jamian the salaf just refers to the pious predecessors meaning first and foremost the first jamaah of the muslims was the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhu majma'in so ahl sunnah loves them and ahl sunnah loves those who loves who loves them and ahl sunnah also along with this characteristic is that they believe in making distancing themselves from the people of inhiraf or bid'a the people of innovation who innovate in the creed of islam or innovate in the acts of worship in islam or the manhaj or methodology of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam whoever tries to add or take away from that which is established in the religion that ahl sunnah dislikes them in accordance with their deviance these are the characteristics of ahl sunnah and they deal with them in accordance with their deviance the other trait of ahl sunnah wal jamaa is that they also believe in respecting and following the advice 
of the scholars, especially the major scholars. And they think good of the scholars, not attacking their character and being suspicious and belittling the scholars. These are traits which go against the Quran and the Sunnah. The evidences are plenty. And Ahl Sunnah also possesses the trait of when there is trials and tribulations, there is fitna, fighting between Muslims, hatred between Muslims, uh, harm that is coming to Muslims, and general fitna, general trials and tribulations, people speaking about one another, harming one another's honored character and dignity. The Ahl Sunnah, they believe in sticking with the main body of Muslims and the Imams. And staying away from the fitna. As the Prophet ﷺ mentioned that the believer, a characteristic of the believer is that he leaves that which that does not concern him. So this is what Ahl Sunnah possesses as, a, as characteristics. A final characteristic that was mentioned is that Ahl Sunnah, they also believe in not going against the major scholars that are grounded in knowledge. That they respect them, especially when there are new issues, as they say, fiqh nawazim, meaning this is the jurisprudence pertaining to major matters that did not exist uh, in the time of the Prophet wasallam, and even during the times of the Salaf al-Saleh that these are new issues for example we have many new issues now uh, there's birth con- new types of birth control there is um, all, all, all kind of various issues that require returning to the major scholars to know how to deal with these issues and not being quick to establish your own opinion or to go against the scholars just because your opinion opposes that but rather going with the major scholars who have the tools and the understandings of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet and the way of the previous scholars the Imams of Fiqh and Jurisprudence that they have this understanding and that they can make judgments and fatawa based upon this but not to go to just anyone that is in your local community that you believe is a sheikh or you believe is a strong student of knowledge for these major issues in Messiah and just taking what they have. But I urge myself and all of those people listening to return to the major scholars. And the major scholars, you for sure will not find any one of them living in the West. So don't think that someone living in the West, no matter how knowledgeable, how much Arabic they believe, that you believe they have and they studied here and they studied there, is of that caliber. We have people who have knowledge, mashallah. But we should return our major affairs to the people of knowledge that reside in the lands of the Muslims who have been steeped in knowledge and who have descended of the major scholars of before. They have taken from scholars that are major scholars, that have taken from major scholars, that take from major scholars, that go all the way back to the Salaf al all the way back to the Prophet Sallallahu So this is the methodology we want to take and this is in regards to the way of and some of the characteristics of Ahl Sunnah and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and make us to be from amongst them. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Muhammad.